program was um, kind of in its infancy when I joined. Um, I think tutoring was in its third year when I came, and the after-school program was just in its second year. Um, but already we were seeing really amazing results. Um, students were learning skills that they had struggled with, and um, that has a really cumulative effect. So you could see as they started to um, gain reading skills, they also got more confident, they were raising their hands in class for the first time, their behavior improved, um, and really taking off as readers and as learners. And I think that's just continued to be the case across all the years. We've refined what we do and added lots of different components and been able to offer more services to students. And you can really see those results when you look at our data and also when you look at our kids and talk to them. I set you free. I told you you could always count on me, girl. And from that day on. You know, so many of our students are really struggling with even accessing learning. And because they have either turmoil at home, um, they have families that might be in some sort of unrest, their basic needs aren't being met. Mm -hmm. And so if you can meet those needs, then you're actually opening up a whole new world for them to, evil, to even be able to access the academics. So we need to meet that first before we even start down the tutoring road. For the community, it is just amazing for these organizations to be bringing in passionate individuals both from within the community and from outside of the community as our members move from across the country. It just brings a lot of enthusiasm around service that is able to help our partner sites move their projects, move their mission forward with renewed vitality and to bring in community members and inspire them to help as well. It makes a big impact in just getting people excited about serving. I mean, I think the impacts on students is, I think it's very clear for a lot of them. I mean, I think you start off, they start off with their mentor and they're, they're super nervous and unsure and, um, you know, you ask them what they want to do and they say, I don't know, basketball player. And by the end of the 12 sessions, uh, when they have them, they, um, you know, they want to be an astronomer or a, uh, a um, pediatrician or something really specific, but that's really connected to their specific interests and um, passions. proud of myself. Um, I think I, I grew and I changed a lot from when I started and I overcame a lot of obstacles and hurdles and just being, you know, the challenges of being an AmeriCorps member, but that um, changed me and changed my life. And um, so I'm just really proud of the um, impact that this program has had on me and not just the kids that I work with, but myself as well. So my service here, I, I moved to California to, to do the AmeriCorps um, program um, from Ohio. So new to California, new to my community, and um, I, I really didn't know what to expect. You know, I, I showed up with my bicycle and a passion for education. And uh, working with the students was just so incredible. Um, you know, it, it really centered me and grounded me in in this community um, and made me want to make it my home and made me want to make it a better place. Like, you know, I came here and I'm, I'm different um, and you know, I'm a, a, a white male from Ohio and I'm like, what difference can I make? But you know, everybody can make a difference and who better than me? Like somebody that cares, that wants to do this work to step in and be able to help your community and make it better. So, you know, that just really centralized this like desire in me to, to make my community better. And I imagine for the rest of my life, I'll always be doing nonprofit work or working in the community in some fashion. Um, I started CalSERS when I was fresh out of college. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I always knew I had this kind of broad, I want to work with children, but I didn't, I hadn't narrowed it down yet. 
And from my term of service working at RL and being with the teachers and the staff and really seeing how everything comes together, I have decided on my career path, I do want to be a teacher and I've applied to credential schools and I think a lot of that has come from having the opportunity to be at a school and see kind of the ins and outs of it. And Because we get to sing every day to our kids and they smile and it makes us smile. And AmeriCorps creates superheroes by inspiring us to inspire others. I think it's huge for kids to have positive role models and someone they can look up to to know that whatever they're going through, they're not alone. I go to work every day and work for one cause and that's to make students better writers and being more involved with their self-reflective thinking. I am a hero because I love making it an enjoyable learning experience for my kids.